Hello, my dear. <coughs> kind of hard to do. Hey, guys, it's me, Nintendo Nude. Good bad, too. Today, there's nothing about the PSP, but we're going to focus on Nintendo. And um, since I have my e reader in the mail, it's coming from Australia. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, so we're just going to go ahead and talk about the Game Boys. Go through the whole Game Boy line. Uh, that's the Game Boy line, not the Nintendo Portable line. Anyway, so we're going to start with the very first system the Game Boy. The original Game Boy, yeah, I lost the back of the battery cover and have no batteries in here. Uh, this was actually my fifth handheld. Um, this is, yeah, um, it's a tiny little screen. And um, now let me show you some of the accessories I have. I have two games. I've had two games. Yeah, uh, Tom and Jerry. And, you know, you're ready to go. And, uh, yeah, Pokemon Silver. Now you can see this is considerably thicker than the original PSP. And then we also have the Game Genie, an accessory for it, that plugged right into the top, which made this device quite bulkier. And you, uh, if this makes any sense, you put the thing in backwards. And that is the Game Boy. After that, Nintendo said, hmm, this was too big, so they re-released the Game Boy like this. Yeah, yeah, the Game Boy Pocket. Um, I the, I actually don't own the Game Boy Lite because those are extremely rare and hard to find. And so you have the uh, rechargeable battery slot, your uh, 3.5mm mm headphone jack, an extension cable, uh, volume B, A, up, down, left, right, start and select, on, and the screen's slightly bigger. As you can see, the screen slightly looks better. And it will still work with the Game Genie. But then again, it looks kind of bad with the Game Genie, because, look, it is weighed down by the Game Genie. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the Game Genie. <clears throat> has a tiny book in it. Anyway, yeah, after we get rid of those two Game Boys, I actually got this at Goodwill for like two bucks. You know, anyway, always go to Goodwill, I swear. Okay, so after that, Nintendo said, huh, how about we release this, the Game Boy Color? Now, this was my first handheld game system. And, uh, my god, I played the crap out of this thing. Uh, you know, you can plug the game in. And, now the on-off switch used to be up here, right? Now it's on the side. I think, yeah, that's it. Alright. Of course, it's out of battery. So, you know, I don't have to play these anymore. That's why they were all out of battery. And this is when they started, you know, making more colors and making them look better. <laughs> There's Nintendo's number. <laughs> Call them up and tell them I sent you. Crap. Okay, after that, Nintendo released this. Which extremely changed Nintendo. From then on, Nintendo had a very different line of consoles. And this is what changed everything. First, they had the same crappy screen as the Game Boy Color. And now, here. Let me just get some of games. Alright, not only did this play the Game Boy Advance games, which are a lot smaller, I couldn't believe how small these were when I got this as a Christmas present in 2003. Um, yeah, see, I have fresh batteries in it for my uh, e reader video. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, oh, yeah, after this. Anyway, um, now, uh, yeah, I also lost the battery cover for this. I'm sorry. I'm very irresponsible. Anyway, um, now, not only did they change how it looks, the PSP was actually based off of the design of the Game Boy Advance, but they um, changed its size, because as you can see compared to the Pocket, it is a, a lot better in size, and it's a lot more comfortable to hold. And, not, you know, it played every game, and uh, you could even play with the Game Genie. Um, you could even plug the Game Genie in. Right? The Game Genie fits in almost every console. I would so get one if I were you. And next, after that, Nintendo released this. Something that a lot of people are familiar with. It's a little Game Boy SP. But that's not the only SP on offer. I have this gold SP, which I actually got at GameStop. I got half off. I mean, you can see right there, it's gold. I'm not joking you. It is a golden SP. And now, um, let's talk about the SP here, okay? First of all, they moved the port down here, and they made it so it slides open. My mom's always afraid I was going to break this, and I almost did. I own like, uh, how many, I own like seven of these. Most of them are red, most of them I've ran the backlight out completely. Right, and um, 
you do actually need a charger. They no longer they just they no longer allow you to put batteries in this. You could, but you know, probably a warranty sticker on there. And then they also went to this. All right. So after that, after the SP, oh yes, this also kept the uh, same cartridges as the Advance did. See, and uh, Super Mario Brothers 3. Um, I played the crap out of this game. Anyway, you see, um, now a problem is that um, these games stick out like that, and the Game Genie just completely. This is where you where it's beginning to be a bad idea to use the game genie. Alright. See. Unplayable. Anyway. And the buttons also feel a little bit better. Okay, so next the next thing on offer is ah gosh, here we are. The Nintendo DS. Now Nintendo held us off on the DS for some odd reason. Um uh, now <laughs> this is where the biggest change came for Nintendo. They started using these itty bitty games. I mean, look how tiny these are. Here, let me just whip out the um, Look at that. They have completely changed. And Nintendo set their course more or less on um, being superior to other companies. Now, um, this changed everything. This is the original DS, but don't worry. And see? Perfect. This is the uh, first dual screen system ever released, I believe. Um, don't state me on that. Anyway, um, then Nintendo people complained, Oh, this is too bulky. <laughs> so, uh, you know what Nintendo did to fix that? They released this little guy, which a lot of people are familiar with, the Nintendo DS Lite. And this had a lot more improved things. First of all, the microphone wasn't in such a weird spot as it is on the DS. The, uh, the original DS, I'm going to refer to them by their full names. Um, the, and the power button was a little bit better. Screens were larger, screens were better set. And the system itself was smaller. Now, as you can see, um, and it just looked a lot more appealing, wouldn't you say? Except it had this bad glossy finish on it. Uh, and like this one had a matte. And now the newest Nintendo. Dun -dun 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 -dun. The DSi. So, this is where the, um, now, this is where everything gets different. Nintendo ditched the GB slot on it. They only went with this proprietary connector. No, no, everything used to be a normal connector. Stylus, of course, um, they went to SD card formats. Now, uh, camera, of course, screen is a lot larger. Yeah, and, um, you know, I also forgot to mention, once they, uh, made the DS line, they started adding more, um, even more, uh, buttons. Start select power is now a button, like it was on the original DS, because nobody liked the slider in that, you know. So, that is the whole line of DS's, um, of the whole line of Game Boy. Here, let's get them on the shot. The whole, you know, it's the entire Game Boy family. There. Um, that is the entire Game Boy family. Let's see here. And that is it, guys. So, what did we learn today? Absolutely nothing. Actually, it's not the DS line yet. The Nintendo line yet. Not quite yet. Of course. That is the DS... The Nintendo line? Thank you. And, uh, that is the video about... Every Nintendo console ever made in their little story. And out of them, can you guess which one has sold the most? Ta da! The Game Boy. I got this for 11 bucks. So, can't beat them. So that's it, guys. Peace out. Woo! Wow, that was necessary. Right, let's try that again. Huh, here's the lanyard for my camera. Right, let's try that again. So, guys, peace out. Yes. Yeah.